Hello everyone, this is Tony Mills here from Energetic Wisdom. I um, just want to talk, yeah, the subject has come up and, and this is what appeared lately was, was about bullying actually. And um, it seems to be very important these days because there's different forms of bullying now. It's gone, it's gone onto the internet as well. But um, we all believe, well, if we all do, many of us believe now in the law of attraction. Um, and so what we focus on, we, we get in a positive way. But actually, bullying is a law of attraction in the, in the opposite way. Um, it's related to some um, negative belief um, or feelings that have been inherited, um, a creating, a, a creating a victim, okay? Um, so it's due to limiting and disempowering beliefs, really. Uh, that a child comes into this uh, situation of bullying. Now, um, it can be, there's quite a few different scenarios here. It can be that something has happened back at home, but it could also, you can go back further. If you think of a trauma being set up, then a child comes in with fear. So a birth trauma will, will actually set it off, okay? It's almost like there's an agreement to deal with, with that victim situation. And even being carried in the womb, um, and even during conception, um, things can be triggered, okay? Feelings can be triggered. And then this law of negative attraction comes in from a, for a child. And it, it, uh, those who bully can, uh, can read the, those who they want to bully. Now, if you go back to bullies as well, they very often have been in the same situation. So it's all this is to do with a certain amount of power. And this is how they, they can get their power, is by in turn bullying. And they very often have been victims of some sort in their childhood. Or whether the parents have been victims. Well, very often there's there's been bullying happening to parents because the child can read all that information amazingly through not what they say but through their feelings we know when our, our parents are angry sad disappointed whatever it is and then the child carries it um and if one of the parents has been a victim they'll empathize and then they'll carry that feeling on so there's an attraction going on there straight, right from the start. And not only that, um, it may not stop at childhood. If there's a strong form of victimhood there, it'll happen then in partnerships. It'll then happen at work. You'll be victimized. And the, the, the secret is to go beyond this, is to release these programs. This is what I work with, is releasing these programs and reinforcing the value. Um, you, you could have a, another scenario, you could have had a great, a little, pretty nice childhood, and then you go to boarding school, okay? And that contrast um, creates a feeling of rejection or abandonment. From this lovely family situation, you've been isolated away from them and put in perhaps a strict uh, situation or perhaps and it's just that it's it's a foreign situation um, and that alone can set things off as well so it can come from um, some unusual places some of this feeling of a victim but th there's the attraction the attraction to the bully to the to those being bullied is they did this survey where which they they had these uh, prisoners watch videos of people, people walking down the street. And the, the, the psychologist did this, uh, this kind of test, really. And they told the, the, the prisoners, say, who they would actually mug. Okay. And it's very often um, a sign of, of posture. Um, because it's kind of obvious, if you're bent down, then you're feeling depressed. And if you're standing up, you can be more elated and more self-confident. You can get false situations standing upright. And that, that's, this can be a lot of ego. But uh, on the whole, these situations can be read 
by, by the bully. So by changing the program, but you see, going back to parents, if, if the parents feels as any kind of victimhood in a parent, then it's, you can say, oh, you stand up yourself, you'll be strong. But what a child reads on their T-shirt is, uh, I'm a victim, or I, I'm affected by people. And that's what they read. We, the child doesn't know it at the time, and the parent doesn't know it, because the feelings are actually imbued in a parent. And so a child reacts to it, even animals react to, to the owners in the same way. Horses know, okay, they know. They'll know those with horses with who have horses will know this. So we've got to change um, a whole situation and start valuing ourselves as parents so that the child picks up a different program. Um, we've got, uh, uh, of course, we've got internet bullying, but in a way, yes, there's a big difference in, in, in some respects. But there's still that victim situation is just being taken online because it's just moved with the times. The victim has moved with the times and the bullies have moved with the times. It's still a matter of bringing back the value to the child. And actually, it's very important for the parents to have their value. And that this is the thing that's overlooked. It could have come right down the line. It could have been that the, the father was bullied, this grandfather's bullied, and down the line, there's a, the ancestral program comes down like a wave. And we have beliefs and feelings that have passed down through these generations that we carry and have to be altered, really. And, and this is what I do. I, I, I can actually find out the programs that are running, just like a computer, you find out the viruses in the computer, then the computer's fine. And I've had some amazing changes with children um, as, as they clear these viruses, okay, in their system. This little computer is amazing because children, you'll notice, uh, they can change just like that. But they, they, the whole system can change when you work on a positive program. So that's why I, I work one-to-one, -one, but I work with um, distance, and I also work with just photographs because we are all connected and things change um, um, in amazing ways by just working from a photograph and a little bit of history if need be. Um, because this, this is what we're here for. We're here to change, for our power to come back, for our value to come back. You know, the, the, we, the life, our life reflects our value, literally. You know, if, we, if we're in a bad place, life will reflect it, literally. You know, so we've got to change that value. What we've been given this body with a value, we've got to bring that back. And it applies to children, but this is completely tied in with a parent's program as well. So parents have to look at themselves and, and see. You know, I've had to look at myself and realize that a lot of things may have been a lot to do with my program that I've inherited. So it makes such a difference to the quality of life. And the sooner you do that, the better. You, you could say, well, you know, if I can get my child perfect, wow, what a life they'll have. Well, it doesn't quite work like that because um, they have to learn. You know, it's like telling a child, or oh, watch you don't fall there, a little child, a toddler perhaps, but watch you don't fall there, watch you don't fall there. Well, that just creates fear in them. You've got to let them fall a bit to grow, okay? So... My parents come, a mother especially come, can you kind of fix my child? But really, it's, it's, we need to look at you first, because this is what your child's reading. And when your value comes in, um, then the child starts reflecting that value. And so this is where we've got to go. It's not just the child, it's much more to it. And, and, it, and it can be affected, it's not just parents, it can be some other male or female authority figure. It could be a school teacher, it could be a school friend, you know, it could be some form of abuse. But once that comes in, very often there's some kind of pattern of abuse. It's like um, an earthquake, then you get the aftershocks throughout your life. But this can be changed. And if you go back, clear the earthquake as well, then amazing things can happen. 
and I'm here to help people with this. And it can be done and things can change in your life. Okay, so thanks for listening and we'll talk again about another subject. Okay, bye.